In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can get started in AWS today. Hey, my name is Victor Caballero, and I want to help you in your tech journey. If you're new here, welcome. All the links to everything we'll talk about in this video will be in the description box down below. So let's jump in. If you want the short answer, here it is. If you are new to IT and don't have any experience, just go ahead and start with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. If you have an IT background and feel confident in your skill set, then go ahead and maybe start with the Solutions Architect Certification. Now, if you have experience in IT or you're confident about your skill set, then you can definitely get started with something like the Solutions Architect Certification, maybe the Developer, or even if you're very confident, maybe something like the SysOps. And why do I say this? Well, because networking, VMs, servers, load balancers, none of that changes. They're all fundamentally the same. The only thing that changes is the naming convention. For example, a server in AWS is just an EC2 instance. And you kind of have to know the differences between the different EC2 instance classes, but nonetheless, it's still a server and you can still deploy Windows or a Linux server onto it. Networking, that doesn't really change. An IP address is still an IP address. You can still do subnetting and you can still do all of the things you can do with all the networking, right? That doesn't fundamentally change. But if you're new to IT, well, a lot of those acronyms can become daunting. You don't know what an ALB is, an application load balancer, or a NLB, or the difference between the two, and which is better for which, then that can quickly become a little bit of uh, trouble to understand and put it in perspective. But if you know these things, then you can definitely do something like the Solutions Architect certification, which is what I did. If you're deciding between the three associate level certifications, just like every other IT answer, it depends, right? So if you feel confident about your IT skill set and your experience, then you could definitely start with something like the Solutions Architect certification. If you've deployed applications from ground zero all the way to production and know the processes and the details about deploying applications, then maybe you could go for something like the developer certification. If you've managed networks, servers, and know the processes behind that and how to manage load balancers and network configuration and IAM protocols, and then you could definitely go for something like the SysOps. Keep in mind the SysOps associate level certification is known to be one of the harder associate certifications. I'm currently studying for this one. If you wanna see uh, a review and what resources that I used to pass the certification once I do, leave a comment down below. So I took the second option. I did this because, well, I've got a computer science degree. I have a background in IT. And honestly, I wouldn't even say my computer science degree helped me that much. It was just mainly my curiosity for learning things. I like messing around with things like configuring routers, switches, stuff like that. Um, I had previously gotten my Security Plus certification, my Network Plus, my Cybersecurity Analyst certification, a bunch of CompTIA stuff. Um, but it was mostly my curiosity that helped me at the end of the day. Now, if you want to learn more about how I passed the Solutions Architect in two months, I did a video on that, uh, link in the note card somewhere up above um, or at the end of this video. Resources that I recommend, free and paid. It kind of just depends on what you want to do. If you're just curious about the cloud and you want to learn more about it, then I definitely recommend you check out something like Andrew Brown's Free Code Camp course on either the Cloud Practitioner or the Solutions Architect. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it's a very good course to get you started in AWS. If you are serious about learning, then I would definitely pick up something like Neil Davis's course on the Solutions Architect or the Cloud Practitioner. Stefan Merrick's a very good resource as well. And for practice tests, John Bonzo. I also have heard Adrian Contril's courses are amazing. They are lengthy from what I've seen, but they are amazing courses if you actually wanna learn AWS in depth. I haven't personally used him. I will be using him for my AWS Solutions Professional Certification. So once I look at his material, I can definitely post a review video. If you guys want to see that, then leave a comment down below as well. Now, if you're ready to start your AWS studies, what are you waiting for? Go check out the resources that I mentioned in this video and get started with your cloud journey today. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below on what kind of content you want to see because I want to build a community that delivers the most amount of value by helping you guys advance your IT careers. Thank you so much and I'll